Hello everybody, who is, blah, 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 who is it going? Hey everybody, you know who it is, it's Unbox Everything and today I'll show you how I went from this to this. So let's just jump right in. So you may have just seen, I recently got myself a sit-stand desk. I've always, always wanted one and I finally got one and it's one of the best investments I've ever made. I've been loving it, been using it, it's amazing. I've already made a video, if you haven't checked that out already, please do. I'll leave a link in the description or in the top of the video or wherever. So please do check that out. But this video is more about just what I did to cable manage this and I'll show you some of the steps that I took to get to where I am. Now, it's not perfect, but I'm quite happy with the result. Now, I really wish I could say that there were zero cables on the floor. Unfortunately, it's not the case, not right now anyway, because this is a sit-stand desk and unfortunately you do need some slack on the cables itself. So some cables will eventually have to hang a little bit so that there is a bit of slack um, obviously as the desk is moving up and down but we'll get to that in a bit one thing that i am quite proud of and i will mention and maybe this might be really helpful for other users is the fact that i managed to avoid drilling any extra holes into the desk and i'll show you exactly what i did the first thing that i did really was i unplugged everything that i had um, all my apply appliances and really i wanted to figure out where i wanted the power strip to go now i had an old one in here however i wanted to replace it to something a bit bigger um, so i went with something called brehenstuhl which is a german company apparently they just do these kind of really robust industrial looking uh surge protected cable uh, power socket extenders surge protected power socket extenders there we go so what i did was i just used zip ties now this might not apply to everybody this really might only apply to people who have sit stand desks what i did was i used the frames design so that's my sit stand desk the actual design of the frame itself i used that as a way to to thread the cable ties now mind you you will need some uh, longer cable ties to do this in order to kind of thread and loop around the socket extender. So that's what I did. And basically, yeah, using the frames design, I kind of managed to loop mount um, pr fairly securely, actually. I mean, and that's kind of pretty much it. What this means is that I was able to avoid drilling any holes into the desk, which I really, really didn't want to do because this is a nice tabletop. Now, the only thing I did screw in was the frame itself because that's kind of how you have to fix this desk up. Other than that, I really didn't want to damage this desk. So I tried my best to avoid making any new holes. Um, unfortunately, I had to use some adhesive stickers with some cable tie solutions to help me manage the rest of the cables. You unplug everything, you put the power strip in, you kind of mount it on using those cable tie methods. And then all you do is you start to slowly plug everything back in essentially. And what happens is with all the remaining excess cables, you start to kind of figure out where you're going to want to um, thread or where you're going to want to run the cables through in order to, you know, reach wherever your peripherals are on the desk. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that I also have a Scarlet TY2, which used to sit on the desk, but now I've actually, what I did was mount it underneath the desk. Now I mounted it using some command strips and they're fairly strong. They're like 3M, you know, tape. Um, and you know, they've got Velcros as well. So if I ever want to uh, peel those little stickers off, I can. This thing is solid. There's no chance it's gonna fall off. I had to readjust it a couple of times because I wasn't happy with the first time I mounted it on, but that's the beauty of having Velcro straps is you can just freely kind of take it off and reposition things and stick it back on. Now, another thing you should actually do before you even begin any of the cable management with a sit-stand desk especially, is make sure you put it to the maximum height that you possibly can because you wanna make sure that all the cables have 
enough slack, enough room in case you do go all the way up. So at least you'll know if for whatever reason you go all the way to the top, there is still enough room for the cables to reach your devices and you know connect to each other. Once that's done, once, you're, once you've done all of that and kind of calculated everything, then and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this cable management. Is it good? Is it not? Do you have any better solutions? I'd love to know because I'm actually probably going to be constantly trying to improve the cable management in this and actually really try and aim or achieve the true kind of no floor uh, cable, cable management. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, then leave a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter. And take care, stay safe.